Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to insert a page in the middle and at the end of your document. Now, so we understand this fully because it can be a bit tricky. If you go up to the Home tab and go along to this icon here that says Show and Hide Formatting Marks, you'll see that in blue, it will show you all of your return keys and your spaces and anything else you use like the Shift key. But it will also show you if you have any page breaks or if you have any section breaks. So for example, if we wanted to put a blank page between these two pages, page two and three, we can do one of two things. Go down to the bottom and place your cursor next to the last word. Then you can just simply press your return key and go all the way down and then you can simply type anywhere on that page. And you can continue to go all the way to the end of the page. Now obviously that's a very simplistic way and it's almost just continuing your document. So let's put a page break in and see what happens. So again, place your cursor at the bottom of the page, go to insert and click break. And what you can see if we've got the word page break and two little lines either side. Now the way in which this works is if I type before the page break, so go down to the bottom here, let's just press the return key as if I was typing, you can see I can now type anywhere on the page just as if I was typing normally and hadn't actually put in a page break. Now, if I was to type after the page break, so let's just delete all of this. If I was to type after the page break, Word would think I just wanted to type normally. So it will delete the page break and it will just continue as you would do normally on your document. So you have a couple of choices. Either you can leave this page blank or you can simply press return keys and then insert pictures or text or word art, wherever you want to on that page. The only thing you have to be careful for is if you go to the end of the page, let's see, we've filled this page. If you knock this page break over to the next page, it will simply enter another blank page. So anything after your page break will be completely blank. The way to get rid of that page break is to simply place your cursor after it and simply press the delete key. So again, if you want to delete all of that, just click and drag all of those space bars and so the return keys and press delete. In the same way at the end of your document, you can simply press page break. You'll see that your page break is up here. So the rest of this page here will be completely blank. You can start to type on the next page here or you can type before this page break here and continue normally. But again, just be conscious of the fact that if you knock that page break down, it will enter a completely new blank page. So that's the way in which you can insert blank pages into your document and how you can see how to control them. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.